for today we only have one deck. This expansion was challenging. No, definitely not frustrating. No, just because the game is hard doesn't mean we have to demand nerves. Buffing other factions might be more difficult but it makes the game dynamic. Now this deck relies on Masquerade and Morale. Of course having a sire play them two times in a row makes things easier. What I had trouble when making this combination was that I really hate using the wet and coup de grace. Like seriously. Why rely on RNG and the off chance coup still has a target, right? So this deck has none of those cards and Roderick seems reliable most of the time. Especially on the second and third rounds of the game. Ah, uh, I've no interest. The trait is pain. What I love about Morale is how dead the target unit is most of the time, especially when you have Kapurur on your hand. Although, the biggest disadvantage is that he can't be a finisher, like sure you can use his ability again if he survives and take away tall enemies, but unlike monsters, he can't slam points in his way to victory. I had my doubts with Roderick, but having the aristocrat tag plus the two games on the board makes him so worth having. I know that laceration would have made things easier to gain back those two points and more, but the tutor ability comes into question, so I can't shelve it like Bomb Heber on the off chance I can actually use it. If the king demands it, I fight for him. Bleed for him. I shall do as you call. It would have put the booty for care. All gentlemen have their vices. <laughs> now this is a good hand. You see the goal for this deck is to have two aristocrats. One Purify, two Locks, one or two Poison, and one Destroyer. We have everything plus a boost engine as a bonus. Long live the Emperor! No one with Shildane! The Hounds of Carthus. I accept your challenge. You do the e In my trade. You see I tried real hard a day ago to make assimilate work, but RNG with Ribery has been shit lately, most likely due to some nerve. Like it's already bad enough that what you get is random with the off chance that it's actually usable as well, and on top of that, now it only produces bronzes most of the time. In Emmer's case I was sure he couldn't reach 17 points even with all the engines and tactical advantage. With me, you'll forget your sorrow. My, my. I shall be your eyes. Oh! All these signs to me. This is why I hate you. 10 props wasted. Just to see. copy a minus one. I with the off chance of getting a profitable card milled from your opponent. Hoping that such an uber risk works out. Get quiet. Going all out on the first turn in the first round might look stupid, 
and it probably is. I but with Desire and Morale has insurance, you can have fun and just oh, go for it. So even if your opponent has their own bomb either, you can just jump it for the next round or save Morale for later and start the ball rolling again. Oh, come on. That was punished. Few poachers would. I will not let this become a second side. Tell me what you've got. Okay, for beginners out there, this may sound like a joke, it's not okay, to be ethereal just run once, just lock them, just lock the rightmost one and it's dead, destroying them simultaneously might be somewhat impossible, but it's easy to just lock one of them. I tried playing monsters days ago and immediately realized its weakness. Everyone powered critter out there just spawns to the right. And I doubt anyone's gone to sacrifice their neckers for a dead 3 point boost. She wished she had Siegfried. You sought to humiliate me, your grace. Now you. I shall be as you call me. Dark clouds gather over Tameria. Skip! Feeling a bit peckish. In my trade. The Vemorla him. Stay for Words mean nothing now. The trade is in pain. This expansion has provided so much, but in all honesty, it was at the cost of being only able to work with so little. Out of the seven leader abilities, Imposter was the only viable ability in spite of having the new Veil status. Seize is a good alternative, but it's not good enough due to the chinkiness of most units these days. Like Amnesty along with Suedus is great and all, but the risk of getting a zero and a dud is higher. That's why you need damage engines, but spies are too fragile and slow and tactics is expensive, fragile, and random as well. All in all it's going to take some time before I can scrounge up all the cards and scraps to craft them all, so I might make more reviews in the days to come. That's all for now thanks for watching.